Hey man, real stay safe shit. You already know what the fuck going on, man. Before I get into this shit, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and all that shit. So, uh, this is another difficult day in LA shit. I mean, like, it's not gonna come as a much surprise to people if you really know about this nigga, but Slim 400, YG affiliate, has been gunned down and killed in LA tonight, as of like five minutes ago. And shit is crazy as fuck i mean like i'm living in la right now the city is like hella hectic like this is like one of the most i mean like this has been like probably like the third high profile shooting and shit within the la county of rappers and shit this year if not more i mean we had fucking um uh frosty the snowman he got shot and his homie darby got killed we had, um, I mean, like, I don't really know if Indian Red Boy was a high profile, but he was just a nigga that got shot on live and was a big rapper, but they were dissing Nipsey and shit. It's just like, I don't know, man. It's like a war zone out here. And I, you can't really say it was like a surprise because it's not really like that much of a surprise because this nigga, um, if I'm not mistaken, he got into like a shooting earlier, a couple, either last year or the year before, and he was, um, injured pretty badly. And they were kind of, a lot of people were talking about that. So it's just crazy. But I guess it comes with the territory of this gaming and shit. You look at like certain niggas, like they be going through situations where they be getting shot and shit. Like you see YG got shot. Even Young Dolph previously got shot in LA. But it just goes to show like being a rapper is like really a dangerous profession and shit, man. And especially being out here in LA. But this isn't like the type of situation where it's just like someone that's from outside of LA being out here and just get caught lacking. Like this is someone who's in LA and is like an LA native and shit. And it's definitely kind of fucked up. But it's like, you know, niggas gang ties really go far deep. And like, even if it's not gang tied, gang related shit, it could be like some shit where just being associated with so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so being at the wrong place at the wrong time. But it's definitely sad to see when it's like niggas that are from LA that are kind of like staples and shit in this music shit being gunned down, especially in like the black community and shit, cause it's fuck. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really know, not really much you could go from like when it's like a whole bunch of gang shit. But I mean, we're gonna probably get more details in it. We definitely know what happened in LA and shit, but it's just sad to see, man. And this is just like a major L for the LA rap community. Definitely a major L for fucking YG too. Cause like, this is like his homies day one and shit. Like definitely someone that's like instrumental with the shits. And I know he was cool with a lot of people in the LA like music scene and shit. Namely like Adam 22 and niggas like that on No Jumper and sh like just like rap niggas in general. So it's kind of fucked up, man. But it's like kind of goes to show, man, that rap shit is really the like most dangerous. Like when they have dirty jobs and shit like this rap shit, it's really like the fucking most dangerous profession in the world, man. Because niggas really just be getting gunned down. Like it could be for any type of reason. But when you're high profile and shit, you're associated with shit and you're still in the streets. It's like you have like two type. You have like so many different angles of people trying to come at you. So you just got to be like go carefully and shit. But you know shit be fucked up, man. Especially out here, shit has not been nothing but hectic. Like, niggas be thinking it's all palm trees and fucking beaches and shit in LA. Like, nah, man. An article just came out today that said, like, the murder rate for several cities has gone up and it's been, like, broken records this year. And LA was one of them. And it's just, like, hella shit be going down out here, man. It can happen anywhere. But in, like, those type of places, like, hot spots, yeah, there are hot spots and shit. But it's like, man just gotta stay safe and shit doesn't matter how high profile and shit you are because like niggas are really looking if niggas are trying to look for you and get you they'll eventually get you there's no one that's untouchable out here and that's on everything i said this in a couple videos back but there's no such thing as untouchable in la like because it's it's a big city but it's like i don't know like it's just people are so accessible like because like rappers and shit like famous people in general even semi-famous people like people just see them on the internet and other places but in la people really be outside like they be really being doing their everyday life shit so it really makes them accessible as fuck man but hey man it's just sad to see 
Let me know in the comments what your favorite song by Sim 400 was and shit. R.I.P. man, another one lost in this fucking rap shit. So I don't know what the fuck to do right now, but that's my thoughts on it. Hey man, go cop some merch and shit. Go support black business and shit. Link in the bio. Make sure you fucking go on my Twitter, fucking Instagram, follow and everything. Peace.